Oh, I have been told by so many people throughout my whole life that graphics would always get better. To so always find a way to get better. But I've, oh, people have always said, yeah, that no, it would never happen. And it would eventually plateau because graphics in games can only get so realistic sick and so good looking that we can't really tell the games apart. We'll reach a plateau, we'll reach a ceiling for video game graphics, and every generation those costs have went up and aligned with it. We have reached the precipice now and what the center can't hold. We continue to do things that we have done before. It's a real re- hard reset on the business model, a reset on what it has to be a video game. It has plateaued. What to say the hard of what I can say only dogs can see the difference. Graphics wars, you know, those type graphic wars, yeah, I don't know why we call them graphic wars, but you know, Basically, you know, those people who basically, you know, the people who have the highest NPCs, yeah, those people, okay? I think the console developers, we need to stop trying to appease towards those people. I think console developers should try to appease, you know, here, and basically, you know, PS5, Pro X, World of CPU, and AI driven upscaling for new and existing titles. A major raising console will cost $700 and $800, or it'll be $800 in European money. Repeat once again, Nintendo was right. Okay, Nintendo said, we need we don't taste graphics. We taste we taste quality over quantity. Okay, in terms of graphics. Okay, Nintendo does not want to have the most advanced console in the world. They want to have quality entertainment, regardless of how strong or powerful the console is. Of course, the Nintendo still not release like an NES esque console. Because that would be stupid. But a console that can run probably most games. Like a, you know, like Xbox Series S can run most modern day games. Heck, even Xbox One PS4 can probably run most of these modern day games quite fine. Especially the more beefed up ones like the Pro models can. Okay. There is no point for the PS5 Pro. Same thing even like a PS6. There is no reason for a next generation consoles. The probably reason anyways because of money, blah, blah. To find some excuse to make people buy next generation consoles. But really in terms of graphics and specs. We have basically reached the plateau. There is no point in tasting better graphics. Also our eyes can only see so, so much. And graphics can only be so good. This is just how it is. We can't enhance our vision just yet. Okay. And yes there are things we can't see. Okay there are wave breaks and colors we can't see. But... There is no reason to taint to taste graphics. We should be just making quality games, but again, they'll rather trust people being than do that. Goodbye.